Lady Ina's string had run out in the late middle part of her life amongst the famous and the rich and whatever society was left at the apex. She was now hungry, bitter, and she sure was lonely. It was young hustlers, navy boys, and gigolos in assignations at the Wales Hotel in Carnegie Hill. But she wanted love again. Or if not love, at least power. And if not power, well, security would do in a pinch. No, no, no. Not you. Stop. Fuck off. Please. Leave me alone. My legs are shorter than yours. I can't keep this up. I saw you come out of the Whitney. Stop. Please, would you? What's out of the Whitney? Is it the Clay's Oldenburg giant ice pack sculpture? I met a girlfriend for soup in the cafeteria. Who has time for art now? What is it you want? To be able to talk again. Talk? Are you insane? Why didn't you think of that before you turned me into... Lady Coolbirth, that person I am now. Ow. Ow. And then the venom from his deadly snake bite finally just drained out of her, and what was left was a lingering sorrowful anger commingled with a yearning and a bone deep exhaustion. Maybe she was just tired. Maybe she realized how much he regretted. Maybe she suddenly felt how much energy it had taken to loathe him. 